Yo, 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 what's the deal? What's the deal? It's your boy who is in though, and we back talking sports. <clears throat> I want to give a thanks to all my new subscribers. We just passed 900 subscribers. Thank you guys. It's been a long journey, it's been about a year, year and a half since I've been doing this. We didn't came from literally nothing, no, uh, no ads and stuff like that really was just doing this just you know as a hobby and stuff like that didn't really got into it i didn't know it was such a big you know what i'm saying so many nba content creators on youtube and stuff like that you know i'm a music guy. i'm really into music i'm into sports too but i wasn't you know what i'm saying the content creator or thinking about doing that and we've came up 900 subscribers in a year and a half so thank you guys i appreciate you and we're gonna keep going road to 10,000 subscribers first a thousand we'll I'll be making a special video to all the subscribers and stuff we'll be making a special video when we hit a thousand subscribers but let's get to the video i want to talk about um this particular subject elephant in the room that uh still going on so as you know the Warriors got uh took it out in the second round by the Lakers last year and you know the big thing was Curry LeBron who gonna get that fifth ring first you know and everything like that you know ultimately Curry which people don't like to talk about, didn't get any help from his teammates, getting any consistent help. He would get maybe one teammate that would come along with him one game, and then no team, and then that teammate, no no teammates the next game, then uh, no teammates the next game, then somebody come up in the first half, then they can't play in the second half, and then also, you know what I'm saying, they had no rim protector. They, had, they was too small. AD was just dominating. But ultimately, neither one of them ended up winning their fifth title. But this is, I'm going to tell you all what scares this particular fan base the most and what scares people the most. Even people that's just Curry haters, they just don't like Curry. Him getting his fifth title. Him getting two titles, another one. You feel me? They don't want him to pass LeBron in titles. They didn't want him to get the fourth one so he could be right there. But if he if he's able to get a fifth title during a LeBron supposedly still the LeBron era, we're gonna have to revisit a lot of stuff. And I'm telling you this right now. Curry get another title. We're gonna have to revisit some things. We're gonna have to revisit this top ten list again. I already got Curry in my top ten. I got him eight. But he get another one. We gonna have to revisit this this again, bro. And then we gonna have to revisit this old LeBron era and all that because I mean Curry getting five championships and then basically getting two while you're in the same conference you know what i'm saying like and then preventing you from getting what three titles four titles you know what i'm saying it's not nothing you really can like argue against that and then you could talk about them having kevin durant all you want to in 2017 the Cleveland Cavaliers have four players in double figures, just like the um, and all of those players average damn near the same amount, identical as the players on the uh, Warriors team. That goes for LeBron. Go look up the stats: LeBron, J.R. Smith, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Love. LeBron averaged like thirty-three. Kevin Durant averaged like thirty-five. Steph averaged like 26. Kyrie averaged like 29. Uh, JR averaged like 11 points. Uh, Draymond averaged like 11 points. Clay averaged like 
it was like what 19 and 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 kevin love was somewhere close so i'm not giving you that one but that's something that they really don't want they don't want stephen curry to win his fifth title he out here making hole in ones you know what i'm saying join this off season and you got you know what i'm saying this certain person want to just try to take over the spotlight all the time like he just can't get enough of it he can't let anybody else shine and it's just it's <laughs> it's amazing but the warriors they made some good offseason um ads i like their draft pick they had they, they drafted size he was 610 250 rebound from the kid from indiana i like him they got Dario Sarge, you know what I'm saying? Good size and everything. The Chris Paul edition, I'm still, the jury is still out on that for me. I still want to see what they're going to do and how they're going to implement him into the offense and how he going to look and everything. But I'm pretty sure that they can, they're going to figure out something. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think they need maybe one or two more uh ads like you know what i'm saying maybe a clint capella or something like that maybe like maybe one more big man i would say they got you know what i'm saying maybe one more more man more big man with size something like that but the new draft pick we have can give uh gavon looney some rest and dario sarich is a big man that can stretch the floor as well so we, we made some good some good um pickups but what we really need is for Jonathan Kaminga Moody to take big steps that's what we really need in order for you know what I'm saying the big three to win another title because I believe Steph got one more in him the name of this video is I believe Steph Curry got one more title in him I believe Steph can win one more title before he retired. And I believe if he win this title, and I'm going to end the video like this, and this might be a hot take because I care about defense 100%, bro. And if you look at my top five, all of them – have made at least three all defense teams and are basically known as two way players, except for maybe Larry Bird, who I have tied with LeBron. And at one point in time, LeBron was known as a two way player. But it comes a point in time where just greatness takes over, bro. And winning, you just can't ignore winning, bro. You can't ignore impact. To me, Curry's impact is greater than his deficiencies at defense. And that's the first time I ever had this thought about a player. You know what I'm saying? I like two-way players. But this is the first time that I'm really going to be saying this, and I'm just going to be honest with you. If Curry wins another title, bro, I'm putting him top five. And he will be going up above a certain person. This is who it's in, though, man. I'm out. Peace.